Hello, hello dear viewers, welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In today's video, we are going to have a look at how to test condenser capacitors on a test bench. This is a 0.25 microfarad condenser capacitor removed from an old distributor. So we will be testing the performance of this condenser on a test bench. We have a similarly looking 0.25 microfarad capacitor here. Both are removed from distributors. We will be testing them on a test bench. This is a selector knob for capacitor testing function. Here, when you put it here, you will select resistance value. The resistance value of the capacitor will be measured by this. And when you select here, it will sense the capacitance of the capacitor. So the capacitance value will be measured by putting the selector switch on this microfarad signal. Here we have resistance and finally this is the off position. And right here we have an ohms zero control. For this reading, we will be using this meter for the reading of the capacitor test. We will be using this meter and the upper graduation, this line, corresponds to the microfarad value and the lower graduation, this graduation, belongs to the resistance value. And when capacitors are tested, internal resistance of the capacitor, it should be infinity when there is no short circuit or when there is no, when it is properly functioning, it should read infinity. And then the capacitance value should read the capacitance value that is imprinted on the casing. Whenever using this type of digital meter, before starting any measurement, make sure that it is calibrated. Now, as you can see, when it is turned off, the value is a little off of the infinity value. We are going to calibrate by using this knob. By turning it clockwise, you can calibrate it to exact value. Now, this gauge is calibrated. Now, let's do the connection of the capacitor to the test bench and see the result. Now, let us test the first capacitor. Let's test this capacitor. All we have to do is we have to connect the positive to the right and the negative, which is the casing, to the negative. To do that, let's use these clips. Let's connect the positive right here. Connect it to the positive right here. And then the casing should be connected to the negative terminal of the tester. Make sure it is nicely connected. Alligator clips will become very handy. Now, connect it in here. Now it is connected, the capacitor is now connected. All we have to do is turn this to the mega ohm position so that you can read the resistance of the capacitor. That will tell us if there is an internal short or not. And turning this knob to the microfarad will tell us the capacitance of this capacitor. Let's do that. Turning it to mega ohm position. Let's see the result. See what will happen when the capacitor is first turned to the resistance value. It jumps to some resistance value and then as the capacitor gets charged, it will go to the infinity position. Now as you can see, the resistance value is on infinity, which indicates that the capacitor is in a very good condition. So there is no internal short and we have seen that the resistance has increased to infinity. That is what happens when a normally operating capacitor gets fully charged the internal resistance should read infinity. Even if you are testing this with a multimeter, it will read some resistance value. And then as you charge the capacitor by the multimeter, it will keep on increasing. And finally, it should, re it should read infinity. Now let's switch to the capacitance position. Let's switch this to the capacitance and see the reading it has. This is how it reads when turned to the capacitance position. See, this is the value it is reading. Now, right here, it is reading somewhere above 0 0.2 microfarad. Well, this capacitor, these graduations are in two points, 0 0.2, 0 0.22, 0 0.24, 0 0.26, 0 0.28, and finally, it goes to 0 0.3. For this particular case, this capacitor is now reading somewhere between 0 0.2 and 0 0.22 which is approximately 0.21. So this is the capacitance value of this capacitor. 
Now, whenever you remove a capacitor from a test bench, make sure not to grab the tester as it is. Charge it, it will zap you. Stay away from the positive. The positive, it has to be shorted to the casing so that it will discharge. Otherwise, if you hold the positive, you will receive an electric shock. Let's turn this off and remove the positive lead and then take it to the casing. It should be discharged like that. Otherwise, if you grab this, you will be zapped because this capacitor is now fully charged when it is connected to the tester. So we have completed the test for this capacitor. As you can see, the value on the capacitance reading here, it says 0 0.25. Right here, it says 0 0.25. But according to our reading, we have found that it is not 0 0.25. It is around 0 0.21. The reading value has reduced. Now let's do a similar check on these capacitors. This one is a little older than this one. So let's do the same test on this capacitor as well. Now the connection is done. I have connected the positive lead to the positive and the negative lead to the casing of the capacitor. Let's turn it on to the mega ohm position and see the reading. See, as I turn it to the mega ohm position, what will happen to the capacitor? The needle jumps and finally, once the capacitor gets fully charged, it will come back to the infinity position. So this capacitor, as you can see from the reading, it has passed the resistance test. It is reading infinity. Now, in a similar fashion, let's switch it to the capacitance and see the capacitance value. This is the capacitance value for this capacitor. As you can see, it is now reading a little greater than 0.22 microfarad. So, compared to the previous one, this one is in a very nice shape. This shows that this capacitor is functional. So, by looking at the microfarad reading, it has this much charge. It has now 0.22 microfarad capacitance. And we have also seen that it has passed the resistance test. So, dear viewers, this is how you can check the condition of a capacitor that is removed from a vehicle distributor on a test bench. Just like the previous one, before grabbing any of this capacitor, make sure that you get the value discharged. It should be discharged. Or you can bring it here and then discharge it right here. So looks are deceiving. As you can see, this capacitor, which looks older, with the same 0.25 microfarad capacitance printed on the housing, similar to this one, has now a better capacitor. So the test has proved that this capacitor is way better than this capacitor. This capacitor has a very nice charge holding capacity compared to this capacitor, which still have similar 0.25 microfarad value printed on it. So this is how you can test operation of condenser capacitor on a test bench. Please remember you can perform a similar test with the multimeter as well. If your multimeter has a capacitance measuring function, you can check the capacitance by connecting one lead to the casing and one lead to the positive terminal, just like what we did here on the test bench. You can also measure the resistance value. Make sure that when you measure the resistance value, make sure that you are selecting the maximum resistance value on your multimeter so that the resistance will gradually increase and finally it will reach infinity. So dear viewers, this is all we have for you in this presentation. If you like what is presented here, please smash the like button. If you are new here, consider subscribing so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Till then, stay safe.